Hi guys, we are making mulled wine. flavoured, sweetened, mm -hmm. but I said since it's a video, we'll make it extra special. So, so are you using this? This was a medium priced wine, it's a Rioja, this is going to have a bit of a smoky taste. Usually I'd like to mix it with apples, mm -hmm. apple juice, but we don't have any apple juice, so I'm going to use grapefruit. How about this? We could, but I'm gonna. Um, we might need to use juice. Okay. To sweeten up. And I know there's a a drink that's sweetened wine called um, sangria, and it's a cold drink, and you use orange juice in that. So we first pour the cork. So I hope the cork doesn't break on me. Open it. to use grapefruit, we've got cinnamon, bark, star anise and clove. Mm. First thing we do is have a taste. So what's this grapefruit for? Grapefruit is going to add a zesty kind of a touch to it. Now normally, I said before, I normally add apples, apple juice and so then I'll use fresh apples but I'll do the exact same thing I'm putting the clove stuck in the fruit because what that enables me to do is release all the flavours of the clove without having to serve anyone little lumps of clove into their drink and yeah. just having to spit them out so it keeps it all together I can already hear starting to go. Now you might see in there we've got star anise yeah. and we've got cinnamon bark. And then we added sugar. And we added three teaspoons of sugar. I've done, no four teaspoons because I've done a teaspoon per glass and there's four glasses, large glasses and I am um, in the bottle. I might need to add more sugar later on. Yeah. So I kept it down to four to start with because you can always add more, mm -hmm. but you can't take sugar away. True. And judging on how the flavors go, I might add orange juice, but I might not. What's that? Clove. Oh. Yeah, clove's going into the grapefruit. We get the bit about what wine it was and stuff. Mm -hmm. What wine it was. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's a Rioja and it's quite smoky. Lock that in. Right now I can hear it starting to boil. bubble. Now that we certainly don't want. We never want to boil it. Ah, no boiling. No boiling, you just want to simmer it or warm it through. No. If you're boiling it, you're basically boiling off the alcohol. Okay. So there's no need. No need to boil it. No need to boil it. No, just make it warm like a cup of tea. Drinkable. It doesn't have to be boiling. Mm. Now, other people will add things like brandy. Yeah. But I don't think we've got any brandy. But what for? Hmm? What for? Um, just to add extra alcohol and flavour. But. I think it's more alcohol to get you pissed. <laughs> it's Christmas. <laughs> I might. I might add some port. Port. Port is um, a, it's a fortified wine. Wine, so it's stronger. It's going to be twenty percent alcohol. Most wines are like twelve. 
So when you fortify something, I think it's like you reduce it, make it stronger. So, uh, so you've got brandy. Brandy is distilled, but that's actually brewed from grape. Okay. So that would kind of make like what would initially be like the mass of wine. And then when they brew it, they brew it to an extent and then they distill it. So that means that they would boil it off mm -hmm. and water and other alcohols and stuff boil at different temperatures. So they, they can collect it as it condenses and it siphons off. Mm -hmm. So then you get a, you, you'd get a stronger brew of alcohol. Okay, alcohol nerd, come through. Mm, from <laughs> distilling. So fortified is a different process. You're not distilling it, but you are making it a stronger brew somehow. So I, I, I'm not sure how they do it. Okay. Look it up if you're interested. <laughs> Use Google. And sing it. So you twerk it. Right, so I'm stirring that lightly. However, you can see a lot of the clove has come off. Oh no, it's okay. Ah, uh, yeah, because it's not tender, it's a bit more harder. Right. That's ready? Nope. Oh. But it's time for a taste test. Let's check the sweetness. Now, the, the flavor of the spices takes longer. sugar now what I'm gonna ask you in terms of flavor there is gonna be a lot more spices coming through mm -hmm. if we add orange juice those spices are gonna be a bit dulled down okay in flavor so what do you want to do I could add sugar it's gonna make it a lot sweeter but you tell me about the flavor I like that flavor you like this flavor yeah and especially when the spices come together more yeah in that case what I'm going to do That's very sweet, actually. The, the port. port. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the port's very sweet. One, two. Sugar. Let's give that some time to mull. So, the mulling process is what exactly? It's just basically stewing it, kind of um, warming it through, adding flavours, I guess. To the wine. Alright then. I'm gonna add some pork. It's a lovely sound, isn't it? <laughs> Just a dash. That's a dash? <laughs> a dash is like. <laughs> that was like. <laughs> not gonna boil. It's on such a low heat. Okay. So you, you can see it's like, um, there's a, yeah, that's... Very low heat. That's the difference between um, simmering and boiling. Yeah. Boiling you'll see bubbles, simmering, it's just like this. Oh, no right. bubbles. Okay. I'm gonna have a taste test now. It's been a little bit. Any juice really that you like the flavour of. 
I mean, orange is a bit strange to be put in with red wine, but as I've said, there is um, a drink called sangria. sangria. Yeah. So, but I'm not sure how it's gonna, the orange juice is gonna work with, say, like the cinnamon. Mm. The clove and the star anise, I can imagine it working okay. Okay. Better. Much better. Do you want to try some? Yes. Maybe they cannot feel my drink. Huh? I cheated. <laughs> How so? Put a bit of sugar in the cups. <laughs> it's not sweet enough, so I have to add sugar there. It's Lovely. hot. It's really hot.